Part three, how our body responds to threat. What happens when we can't process a threat response completely? Following on from the previous video, exploring the stages of response to threat. Here we look at what happens in our body when we freeze in response to overwhelming fear. Imagine the blue circles in the diagram as representing the freeze response that happens when we feel threatened but can't fight or run away. Even though it looks like nothing is happening, it's like a car with the brake and gas pedal both pressed. There's a lot of energy building up inside. Here's an example. Picture a gazelle at a watering hole with a relaxed nervous system. When a lion shows up, the gazelle's nervous system activates. It's ready to run. If the lion catches it, the gazelle freezes because it's overwhelmed. But if the lion gets distracted, the gazelle survives and eventually shakes off the stored fear. In a few minutes, it's back to its calm state as if nothing happened. But humans are different. Unlike animals who instinctively react to danger and move on, humans have a more complex process due to our more developed human brain. Imagine if the gazelle could see, think about, and analyze everything that is happening to it as it is happening. In box one, it's calm and safe. In the next, it's running from a threat. In box three, it feels overwhelmed as it's about to be eaten. And in box four, it's running again. But this time, in that box, there is no actual threat present. If the gazelle had the same level of self-awareness as humans, everything that evolved to work automatically for millions of years would suddenly seem confusing. For humans, confusion or a lack of understanding of what's going on creates problems. And the awareness of that can create a sense of threat which itself disrupts the natural flow of how we respond to the original danger. So if this new threat appears while the gazelle is trying to release the energy from the previous one, the stored energy represented by the blue squiggly line isn't fully discharged. The gazelle hasn't had a chance to go over the red line and return to its normal resting state called homeostasis. If the gazelle hasn't got back to square one, then when another threat appears, it reacts faster this time, accumulating more energy than it can handle more quickly. The unfinished charge from the first threat combines with the second, causing the blue line to spike too quickly, overwhelming the system before the gazelle can properly fight or flee. Each time a new threat shows up, our stress response gets triggered faster and because we're still holding on to unfinished fear from before, it's like adding layers of stress on top of each other till it becomes too much. Eventually, our nervous system gets stuck in a pattern where we go from high alert to freeze mode and never really spend any time in between where the healthy, productive response to threat exists. This is like a car speeding up and slamming on the brakes without ever cruising smoothly. Ideally, our human mammal and reptile brains would work together to help us respond to threats in a healthy way. When we haven't finished dealing with past threats, our human brain tries to suppress the natural reactions of our mammal and reptile brains. This creates a disconnect where our body feels threatened, but our mind doesn't understand why. When we don't know why we feel scared or stressed, we might start looking for threats. This can cause problems in our relationships, work, or even how we view the world. Imagine you're walking down the street and you see a man frantically sprinting across the road. He's waving his arms, screaming, darting about, glancing over his shoulder. His disheveled appearance and erratic behavior make you and others instinctively want to avoid him. You might even think he's out of his mind. But just as you're about to look away, a fully grown lion comes charging around the corner, roaring and closing in on the man. Suddenly, his frantic behavior makes sense. He's fleeing from real danger. Your perspective shifts, and now you see someone in need of help. This is the analogy of the invisible lion. 
The next video will explore how unresolved responses to previous experiences can remain trapped in the body as baggage. This concept helps us understand how unresolved responses to past dangers can disrupt our ability to handle new threats, leading to anxiety, hypervigilance, and dysfunctional relations in daily life, and dysfunctional reactions in daily life. You'll find a link to the Invisible Lion book in the description for a more detailed look at incomplete or unprocessed responses to threat.